Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here, and today we're going to talk about my dating life. Hashtag a little awkward, and yes, we're going there. All right, well, a couple Saturdays ago, I went on a date with a guy, and actually it was a pretty good date. We, we went mini golfing, we had the good, you know, get to know you questions, first date, kind of just getting to understand a little bit about each other. And at the end of the date, he asked me for a second date. And at the time I said, yes, I thought that seems like a good idea. You know, we had a pretty good time. Well, I got home and I just, something just wasn't sitting right with me. So I asked myself two questions. Is he the type of guy that I would be comfortable setting up based on character alone with one of my good girlfriends who I highly respect? And I actually thought, no, I thought of my friend Kelsey. And I thought if, if she met him, she would probably be really annoyed based on character and just not want to spend time with him. And then the second question I asked myself was, would I be comfortable having him hang out with my good guy friends that have great character, I know care about me and love me, would I see him meshing well with them and would I be comfortable having them hang out with each other? And again, no, no, I wouldn't. And again, it wasn't that he was a terrible guy, but he just wasn't displaying the character that I'm personally looking for when I'm dating. And so I asked myself, okay, if I wouldn't set him up with a good friend and I wouldn't want him to hang out with my good guy friends, why am I going to go on a second date with him? And I ended up not going on that date. But here's the thing is when we spend time with people that are not a match, we don't have time for the people who might be. And the thing is, had I gone on the second date, maybe a third or a fourth, I'm going to be oblivious to the fact that I could have had a date with someone else who actually was a really good match. And here's the thing is when we're spending time with people that don't really make sense, they're not in alignment with our goals, we're not on the same page with motivation about why we're here and what we're doing, I'm gonna miss out on opportunity to meet someone who really could be a good match. And this came up actually in the class Mega League Conversion just last week. Someone in the class mentioned and just asked the question, you know, I'm working with this person, here's how they're treating me, I'm frustrated, what would you do? And my question back was, well, have they signed an agreement with you? Have they hired you? And she said, no, no, they haven't. And we got into this discussion. I actually brought up this dating thing. It just popped in my head. And it was that idea of who are you missing out on that could be a really good client, but you're spending time with someone who's treating you poorly and they haven't even committed to you. They haven't even signed an agreement. And we just got to talking about how in today's market, it can feed desperation. When you feel like you don't have enough clients or you don't have the right kind of people that you're calling in your database, it can lead to, well, let me just set this appointment because I need one. Or let me just work with this person, even though they're not hitting the normal standards I have, I'm just gonna do it because I'm feeling desperate. And that's when, when you're feeling desperate, you can start making really bad choices. So I, I just wanna share this mindset with you. I am so passionate about agents and helping you make sure you're spending time in the right places. And in the class Mega Lead Conversion, we teach you skills to convert leads so that you can have quality appointments in today's market and you're actually spending your time in the right places. And yeah, you have to work harder in today's market. I can't totally fix that for you. That is a reality of today's market. But when you know the kinds of questions to ask, when you know how to screen somebody, you know how to decide how serious are they and do they align? Like is is what they want in alignment with what I can provide for them? you're gonna have a much easier time getting closings. And that's what we need, right, is closings. Join us in Mega Lead Conversion to learn how to screen clients and think correctly about how to find business in today's market. I'll see you soon.